Hey guys, welcome back to EMG Source. Uh, so today I'm gonna go over the new update that I've had for uh, my build. And this is gonna be the EMG Source Build Deadpool Edition. So I'm gonna show you how to install it from the beginning. And this is gonna be a detailed um, video of everything that's in it, all right? Show you exactly what's, uh, what's in it. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to System, go to File Manager, Add Source, and Type in source HTTP, right? HTTP colon forward slash forward slash EMG source dot com lu dot com. Okay, then we're gonna go over here and give it a name, and you're gonna put in uh, you know whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine ENG. All right, so <clears throat> put in the address, give it a name. Click OK. That's it. All right. So for those of you who are new to uh, Cody, uh, a lot of you uh, I've noticed that get confused between the A and B. Where do you put it? Doesn't really matter. A or B. Just put in one of those. It, it really makes no difference. All right. Uh, press Home. Go back to System, and then go to Add-ons, and then from Add-ons you're gonna go over to Install from zip file, and then you're gonna click on EMG and click on EMG source that's it all right so you're gonna wait a couple of seconds you're gonna see the the little logo here that says that you know the the add-on has been installed or it's enabled and once that happens you're gonna go back see right here it says enable okay so you're gonna press and, and go back home go back to the beginning and go to programs EMG source wizard if it doesn't show that you're gonna click on program add-ons and click on EMG source wizard and then just install it okay this is a, a very late it's a hundred and twelve megabytes if I'm not mistaken uh, so very late so it should install pretty quick all right so I'm not fast forwarding this this is exactly how long it takes on on my network and I have pretty good speed so I mean uh, you know, it, it will vary for everybody depending on, on your speed and your machine as well. So once that's done downloading, it's gonna tell you, um, okay, you know, uh, you know, ready to, to reset or, you know, you have to reset your box basically. So if you're an Android box, uh, all you have to do is uh, uh, unplug your machine and reboot it. Uh, you know, give it a couple of seconds, plug it back in, reboot it. If you're on an Amazon box, you could do a reset. You know, you don't exactly have to unplug it. Uh, so you see it says press OK, and then it says yes, close. Um, this will work only if you're on a Windows or a Mac. Uh, it'll work, it'll close by itself. Uh, if you're on an Android machine, like I said, you might have to reset your box, unplug it, you know, in order for everything to stick. So then after that, you're going to relaunch uh, Cody. And you're gonna see the little intro image here, and you see my little mouse here from Deadpool, EMG Source Built Deadpool Edition. All right. Uh, so there, it's pretty much the same thing as you had before. I just uh, gave it a little bit of a theme. Uh, uh, I, I like Deadpool. I, I read all the comics, so you know, I figure, all right, let me do something that I like. You know. Uh, so here you have the little mouse. And you see all the, the shortcuts are, are coming in. And you have Deadpool lettering here, all the, you know, the the same exact font. Um, there's really not much Deadpool into it as you might think. You know, you have the little um, mouse here that if you go down and you see like the icons right here on top, you know, it'll, it'll show right here like little icons, you know, with, with Deadpool on it. So let me go and start from the beginning here, and I'm gonna start with Exodus. Now Exodus, all of you know what Exodus is. I left that one by itself because the Exodus is like the most popular, most used add-on for, for Cody. You know, anybody who uses Cody is gonna go straight to Exodus. It used to be Genesis. Exodus is the add-on to, to use if you're gonna do uh, anything uh, on Cody, you know? Uh, so if you press down here, you have uh, you can search for movies by year, okay? So it'll it'll give you you know the years that you could look for, uh, you know you can enter there, and then it'll give you all the the movies. I also I don't know if you can see there in the, in the right in the left corner my little Deadpool uh, 
dancing little uh, you know uh, loading uh, item uh, so there you see you see the latest movies you could get from there uh, let's see what else all right so you also have uh, by certificate so if you wanted to look for something rated G PG 13 you know uh, rated R you can search straight from there uh, you also have uh, networks if you want to look for you know TV networks so you know you could enter like to say AMC and then or look for all the shows that are, are in that network um, I see like Walking Dead if you're the Walking Dead you could play from there and look for the season you know if you want to search the latest season you know choose an episode click on it and it'll play all right so just let it scrape it finds all the providers uh, it'll give you grab the best one and it'll play right away all right excellent So Exodus is the same thing no matter what you do. So these are just little shortcuts. Uh, you have the TV calendar where you could look by, uh, you know, by date. And you have the search option here. So if you wanted to search for a movie, TV show, by people, uh, movies or TV, you could do so there too as well. Uh, if you click on Exodus itself, it takes you right into the, into the main add-on. And, sorry, uh, you know, here, it'll take you into here. And you know you have all the all, all the options here as well. All right, so if you click on movies, you get more movies uh, options. You, know, you can search by genre, uh, most voted, box office, uh, in theaters, and so on. Okay, uh, Phoenix. Okay, go down in Phoenix, and if you click on Phoenix itself, it's going to take you right into Phoenix add-on. And you know, Phoenix is uh, you know again is there by itself because it's such a great add-on. Uh, you know, you have uh, one two four two four one five here, and you have all these great links that you could search for in, in various categories, very very well uh, uh, organized by Phoenix here. And there's a lot of things that you could look for now. Uh, a lot of these work a lot of them you know they're, they're a little iffy but you know you, it's categorized so it's easy for you to you know if you want to look for Ant-Man uh, you know you have a couple of links there and if one doesn't work the other one should uh, if not you know it, it doesn't then it doesn't but they, they have very good categories here a lot of things that you could look for and you see it's playing there let's check out the quality and this was on 720. All right, so it works great. All right. So Phoenix, again, um, for anybody that's new, this is great information. Anybody that's been using Cody for a while now, you know you know what Phoenix is. Uh, you get a lot of things from Phoenix, all right? Uh, same thing in Exodus. If you press up, you get the little widget here, which gives you to the latest uh, you know, it, it shows you right there the latest movies from Exodus. All right, uh, and then here, once you're in the widget, you can, you know, click on a movie, and that'll play right. You know, it'll search for it and play for it right away. So a nice little shortcut there for the latest movies, and I do the same thing with Phoenix. All right, so let's uh, wait for this to play. And as you can see, there's playing 720, great quality. Um, Phoenix same thing press up and you have all these little you know widgets here uh, you could choose a, a movie and it'll you know give you link one link two that's how Phoenix works uh, you know and go from there if you press down from Phoenix you have one two three movies which is another great movie add-on uh, what I like about this one is that if you click on any of these movies it's a one-click Play. So if you want to play Deadpool here, uh, you know, it'll tell you if you want to resume it or start from the beginning. You start from the beginning. And as you can see there, one click play. All right. So one click play works excellent. Uh, Salts. Everybody knows Salts too as well. It's another great add-on for movies. Um, 
yeah, you could look for trending movies. It has a lot of categories too as well for you to search uh, anything there. By the way, for any of these add-ons, when when you're uh, when you're in there, you see how like the look is different in all of them. If you press to the right, right, and you have right here in the view section, you can switch between uh, different views. So you see, I have here posters with info. You have big posters. You have uh, see if you want if you like that big poster look like this. Looks really nice. Uh, you also got big posters with uh, with uh, with a list here with information. So you still get a nice decent sized poster with some information. This is a great skin. I love this skin. Has a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, looks. So you can mix it up and make it look however you want. You know, I have it set up there with uh, many different types. So you could kind of take a look and, and try it out and see how you like it. Uh, but a lot of different looks, a lot of different things that you could go with. You see that? Uh, there's also this one. Let's go through it. Uh, let me see. This one here that that's pretty new. I haven't seen in a lot of a lot of uh, skins. Do not have this. Yeah, something like this. See, so it has the little logos there on the bottom. Little movie logo. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I I, I think this is an, an amazing looking skin. Um, I love the the logos and everything that it has in it. It it looks pretty cool. I mean, I I love this uh, add-on. So you know, stream all the sources. You click on it. Now, stream all the sources, I left it as you pick uh, the source because, uh, you know, uh, sometimes it, it, it'll just auto-pick one that's not very good. So, uh, if, if you leave it on, on picking the source yourself, you know, you could pick whichever one the best one is. You could give it a try and see if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, then you could try the next link, you know. Uh, so, let's see if that one works. It's loading, as you can see that little Deadpool dancing around in the corner there. And we're gonna give it a couple of seconds to see if that link works. Uh, this is a pretty uh, new movie in the theater, so I don't think that 720 might work. I, I, I doubt it, it, might, it could be maybe like a cam in 720, uh, which, you know, it brings up a whole other issue. So you see, right here it says 480 SD, right? Get out of there. So again, many many categories there. That's a freaking looking dog. Um, uh, let's see what else we got in Phoenix. And then in Phoenix, you also have NaviX. So NaviX is actually more of a program than a movie add-on, but you could find pretty much everything and anything here. All right. Uh, so if you the way you use uh, NaviX here is uh, you go to start, and then you have different categories here too as well. You could actually search something for by typing it. Uh, probably the most used is this one. Most of you in the last 24 hours, you click on that, and then you have a lot of things here. Okay, so this is unfiltered. You get uh, you know a lot of adult stuff. You get uh, movie stuff. Uh, you could find movies from uh, from Jiffy. You know, in 1080, you find 3D movies. Uh, see, this one apparently has uh, movies in you know uh, with 5.1 to be digital. Uh, you know, so you can find a lot of things here. There's there's so many things to go through. So if you're looking for 3D movies, you could click on here and see what they have in 3D and play that, right? So very very useful. NaviX uh, has so many things on it. To get out, you gotta press to the left and then go down to exit, and you could get out, get out of there. You could also create your own list. Uh, there, you know, if you add things to your own favorites and it'll appear there on the favorites, all right? So that's it for movies. So you have one, two, three movies, Salt, Navi X, and then Phoenix itself. Exodus is by itself because Exodus, I believe, is uh, probably the greatest add on when it comes down to Cody. Uh, then watch TV. You have the Salt version for TVs and uh, uh, TV shows basically, and then here you can find trending TV shows and it'll give you all the TV shows there. You could, you know, you could search for there. All right, so let's say if you want to watch uh, The Flash, you choose the season, and then from, from there, you know, you choose the episode, and, you know, you click on it, and it'll find it, and then it's going to find the, you know, the best quality one, and you choose from there. You could turn an autoplay on this, okay? Um, but as you can see, if you do, like, autoplay sometimes, it won't even find it. 
Uh, if you do get that, sometimes all you gotta do is click it one more time, and it'll find it the second time. Um, it, I, it does that sometimes for whatever reason. You see, like, so now I found it in 1080p there with Turkish subtitles. Right? But it's in 1080p. Right, so very, very good add-on. I like the, you know, the uh, the fact that you have to choose here better than, you know, you do that same thing on, on Exodus, but Exodus is pretty good at finding you the best quality. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, Salt's kind of sometimes doesn't pick the best one, so I, I think it's better if you gives you a list and then you choose it. If you don't like the list, again, back up, press it again. It'll, you know, sometimes you got to give it a second shot, you know. TV for me works great too as well. TV for me has a lot of shows. Uh, you could uh, search from A to Z, uh, new episodes, uh, you know, it'll show a list of a few. Doesn't do great with showing a few, but you know, uh, you know, you click on that show and it'll find the links and it'll autoplay. Okay. Uh, the thing with, uh, with TV for me, uh, one of the reasons I have it there is uh, I believe it's one of those add-ons that always works, you know. Yeah, it always works, but the quality is, is never really above SD. I've never really seen a show in, in 720. Um, same thing with TV online. TV online does exactly the same thing. You could, you know, um, look for a show there. What I like about this is that if you click on latest episodes, it gives you every single episode that you might have missed. You could go through a list maybe and see if you missed something, you know, and go right through it, you know. Uh, it's a very, very good, uh, sorry, new episodes. It's a, it's a very good add-on to figure out, you know, if you missed an episode or not, you know. Uh, and if you choose, you know, you could use it for reference to see, oh, what did I miss on this day, you know. Uh, you know, what did I just miss? What did it just pass by? Maybe something you didn't even know that might have played. Uh, you know, you could go through there and look for it, you know. Uh, so, uh, let's say if you click on Amazing Race there, you click on that, and then you get all the links to choose from. You could choose any one of them. Most of them, I, honestly, I haven't really had many issues with any of these links. They all mostly work. But again, it's another add-on that really doesn't give you a lot of 720. Uh, a lot of them are 540, uh, 480 links they, they don't uh they don't exactly give you the best quality if you're using this on an i device or your mac or your, your windows you know it looks great because you know you, you can only get so much resolution of one uh screen depending on you know what you have all right so there's playing uh but if you're playing this on a big screen tv it might not look so great so i use it mostly for reference that's why if you click on watch tv here It'll give you the latest list so you could use it as reference. So you can see, you know, USC pay-per-view event. Oh man, I missed that, you know. Let me go look for that on, on on Exodus. Or, you know, you could choose to watch it from there if you want to watch it from that quality. But I use it as reference more than anything. 